I'm Ashley McDowell. I'm joined here this morning by Stephanie Gundola. Good morning. Good morning, Ashley. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you very much. So today we're going to talk about NOAA yes. in general. And so I know that the sanctuary is part of a bigger system, correct? That's right. That's so right. can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, I can. So we are indeed part of a bigger system, part of NOAA, which is a part of the Department of Commerce. And so NOAA is all about science. This is their mission, science, service, and stewardship. And you can really see that in what NOAA actually stands for, which I don't know if you knew. <laughs> Some people don't. Yeah, I feel all we use is NOAA. So right. a lot of times we don't even know what that is stands right. for. Right, so it's the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And that name itself really tells a lot about the the breadth of what NOAA does. So the oceanic, they do research in the oceans, all the way from the oceans to the atmosphere, to the sun. And it's all about the physical science and how that physical science really affects every American's daily life. And so there, there's hundreds, thousands, really, of scientists that do research on, on weather, on um, the oceans, like I said, on um, climate change, on um, the coastal communities, all sorts of different things that then uh, city planners or um, you know, uh, government agencies then use all of this physical scientific information to make very important decisions that affect our daily lives. And so how long has NOAA really been around? That's a great question. NOAA started, and it's really the first government scientific agency in the country, and it started uh, in 1807 with the Coast Survey, this is when we were just beginning to survey and map the coast, and that includes the Great Lakes, so it dates all the way back to 1807, so a physical scientific agency that is over 200 years old. Wow, that's a long time ago. And so what kind of things were they mapping back then? Shipwrecks still or different things? You know, that's a good question too. So they were more mapping the physical characteristics of our coasts and our lakes. And there are shipwrecks that they came across throughout that process. So we do have shipwreck records that date back. I mean, they would mark if there was a, 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 you know, a hazard and that might be a shipwreck, that would be on, on the chart. That's exciting. So NOAA has come a long way, or just even mapping and doing yes. what NOAA does today. That's very true. And one of the really special things, I think, about NOAA is not just that they're gathering and, and interpreting all the science, but then that they turn around and create products for not just planners to use and, and government agencies for emergencies and things like that, but also for um, in products, outreach products that everyday folks can use. For example, the, their buoys, which are really cool. You can go and look on their weather buoys at the National Data Buoy Center, which is a great website. You can see the hundreds and hundreds of buoys they have all over the country. Click on it and then see the, the weather real time. There's one out on Thunder Bay Island uh, right now throughout the whole season, even during the winter. So you can click and see how frigid it is out in Thunder Bay Island. That's exciting. So you can check the temperatures and stuff. There's a right. lot of stuff I feel like NOAA provides for everyone. And then checking the temperatures is just one of them. That's very true. And then you can see even more of these products on the Science on a Sphere that we've talked about in the exhibits. Mm -hmm. the six-foot globe, and there's 400 different uh, scientific data sets that you can see of all these products and, and knowledge that NOAA has on, on the sphere. That's exciting. Well, thank you so much, Stephanie, for coming on today. Thanks, and Ashley. And telling us all about what NOAA has to offer and the history behind it and how long they've been here. Yes, thanks, Ashley. Thanks so much.